Matt Letizia will be 26 next week, but will the celebrations include a place in the England starting lineup for the first time on Wednesday? The Southampton captain scored four goals against Huddersfield in midweek and has led Saints to their highest league position for four years. Two of the players who missed that Coca-Cola Cup tie through injury are back today, number two Jeff Kenner and number ten Neil Madison, but Richard Hall and Paul Allen are still unfit, so there are places for Francis Benali and Neil Heaney. And while Southampton signed a Dane from Spain, Ronnie Eckelund, who scored in both the league games that he started, Everton spent huge in Bruges, paying a club record £3 million for the Nigerian international Daniel Amakachi. But he has to battle away up front without the help of on loan Duncan Ferguson, who was injured at Portsmouth and is replaced by the former Southampton man Paul Rideout. Two other changes from Wednesday, number two Matt Jackson replaces Ian Snowden and 21 Gary Rowett is preferred to Graham Stewart. The other lone player from Rangers, Ian Durant, is a substitute. Brian Hill from Kettering starts what's been portrayed as a vital match for Everton and their manager Mike Walker, but it's a lucky ground for them, the Dell. Everton have not lost here for 10 years. This is Jeff Kenner to Neil Madison for Southampton. In fact, the uh, crowd limited here to 15,000 while Southampton try to relocate their stadium. And it looks like a full house. And there's the man said to be on the proverbial tightrope, although he answered his critics very positively in grandstand today, Mike Walker. Right out for Everton. Oh, he was taken there by Moncal. So a free kick. For which uh, Dave Watson's bound to go forward. Good set play man. Jackson's in there as well, number two. Oh, right out coming in as Grobelar came out and took a blow, the goalkeeper. Bruce Grobelar, who will be 37 next Thursday, took a whack here as he came to meet his own defender and right out. Oh, no, I think it was his own player, possibly, that uh, caught Grobelar there. And the goalkeeper is being led off and on comes number 13 Dave Besant who lost his place here at the Dell when Grobelar was signed well here's an opportunity perhaps not in the circumstances he would have wished for him to re-establish himself in the Premier League corner to Everton up goes Watson this is right out well they're booing right out the Southampton fans but I don't think it was his fault that Grobelar got hurt here's Amakachi Hinchcliffe. So Dave Besant pulled into action unexpectedly early and some sad news regarding Bruce Grobelar. It looked a serious injury. In fact, it's a suspected fractured cheekbone and a broken nose for the uh, man who Dave Besant came on to replace. Amakachi's header. And lots of the play going down the Everton right at the moment. Amakachi going that way as well. Takes on Benali here. Samway's in support. Three in the middle for Everton. Four now. Samway's trying to shake off Magilton. Now Eckelen joins in. Two against one. And Everton get the free kick. Jilton thought he was the one being pulled. Hinchcliffe curled it with his left foot. Well, uh, Everton certainly having their share of the play in this opening 20 minutes.
Letizia, oh, what a good early ball. Ekelund's in here, Ekelund, yes! Wonderfully made for him, but taken in sprightly fashion. Made inevitably by the great provider of the Dell, Matt Letizia. But little Ronnie Ekelund, three and three now for him. He started the move there. Letizia gave it back to him with an instant pass. What vision. Ekelund shook off the challenge and scored in the far corner. The 19th minute and Southampton in front and the Danish under-21 international who couldn't get a game at Barcelona is getting a game and scoring goals at the Dell. He's going to become a real favourite here if he carries on like this. Well won by Magilton, little flick from Ekelund, he gets it back from Magilton. Sweeping football by Southampton, Dowie, Letizia. Oh, don't give him the ball there, they'll be saying, the Everton supporters, because he scored so many from that position. And he's so good at it, you almost count this by his towering standards, a missed chance. It's uh, Ekelund and Magilton on the right who set the thing up, and it comes back to Letizia in almost his favourite volleying position. You just wonder what that goal might have done to Everton's already damaged confidence for Mike Walker and his cohorts. It's not been the start they would have wanted today either. Here's Unsworth. And Amakachi standing and watching and allowing Kenner a free header clear. So, uh, Watson is forward again. And there is Watson and Parkinson. Oh, Amakachi! No! Offside. Offside given. The headers in there set up Parkinson. And as the ball ran loose, Amakachi tucks it in. But the linesman flag for offside. with on Dowie. Moncow coming in. Madison was there too. Second time he's attempted that. Neil Madison. Well, Brian Hill has checked his watch countless times and in fact we're in the fourth minute of stoppage time at the end of the first half, but... The Dell, its very name, has a magic ring to it. And from the fairy tale land of Denmark, they've come up here with a little goal scoring gnome called Ronnie Eklund, three and three, to make Mike Walker's misery deeper. But the real conjurer down here is Matt Letizia, who will have surely done his England chances no harm with that first half display. All this after Southampton lost Bruce Grobelaar with a serious facial injury in the first five minutes. And at the start of the second half, Ian Durant, who's on loan from Rangers in Scotland, makes his first appearance for Everton. He's been brought on because the captain, Dave Watson, has a back injury. So Everton will have to reorganise. Durant, very much a midfield player. And that means that... Uh, Joe Parkinson, number 18, will go and play in the back four alongside Unsworth. And Durant will replace Parkinson in midfield. Not much going right for Everton. Watson's presence will obviously be missed as a leader. And, uh, any sort of uh, bit of luck at the moment would go down well with Mike Walker. Now, Unsworth with... Uh, Durant just in front of him, he finds Samways, then Amakachi, but he's being so well policed by Moncow, that's where it's breaking down. Forward by Letizia, Ekelund. Just couldn't carry it past Jackson, but he's found Magilton. Well, Jim Magilton has yet to open his account for Southampton. 
at uh, the last goal I can remember him scoring was a dramatic cup winner for Oxford at Leeds. And he promptly signed for the Southampton club the following day. He was uh, trying to curl one here as Eckelund took the attention away to the left. Samways, oh, you don't want to see it given away there in Everton's predicament. And look at this again, Letizia picking out Eckelund. He's through again. Southall to meet him does well. Well, that saved some embarrassment for Everton and Vinny Samways in particular. Here's Heaney now. He's gone past Durant. Dowie in the area. Unsworth half clears. Eckelund. Played his uh, way again through there onto the Letizia pass, and it's always so measured. He lofts it almost like a golf shot, and it drops in the path of the Danish player who is foiled by Southall. And the early one from Southall picks out right out. They are feeling for hands given. He had a couple of years here with Southampton, Paul right out after coming back from Bari in Italy. Eckerlund, Heaney to his left. Was it in? Linesman's kept his flag down, and Neville Southall's save is a judge to be fair. It was Heaney's shot, no complaint from the uh, Southampton players. Play goes on. Neville Southall has twice saved Everton now from going two behind. And that one, well, at first, I didn't think it was the best of shots from Heaney. Southall was able to parry it. And then as it goes towards the post, what a good left-handed save by the goalkeeper who will shortly be overtaking Ted Sagar's famous club record of league appearances for Everton. a good ball by Madison. It's going to be a corner off Burrows. Jeff Kenner really supporting well there from right back. And then look at the crowd behind the goal. They're making worshipful signs and you know who, they're, who they've got in mind there. There's only one man who gets that kind of uh, adulation down on the south coast. He's about to take the corner. corner again his wasn't the last touch which made it a good challenge but he's coming in from a very deep position here and Letizia's accuracy is enabling him to run onto the ball this time Jackson beats Moncow but Letizia is out on the right wing still this is Benali and on the left wing it's Heaney Moncal, Madison, Letizia! It's his day again, and there's nothing in the world that Everton can do to stop him. What a week, what a season, what a player. Heaney's cross, Moncal gets half a touch, it comes back to Letizia, and that is an unerring strike. Typical of the man who surely has underlined again that at last he's achieved the consistency that perhaps a year or two ago might not have been there. He looks today the finished article. Whether or not he's finished off Everton remains to be seen. It looks like it at 2-0. Everton, two goals behind. Come on, Neil! Come on, Neil! and it would appear about to lose at the Dell for the first time in some 10 years. Two contrasting stories there. So 
so anticipated the free kick Dowie is pulling away on the far side that's where it's going that's the header self all again he's uh, been a one-man barrier at times the goalkeeper he's gone through his hard work and kept his side in the match now Madison Kenner goes again Hinchcliffe's challenge corner given And the crowd again salute Letitia over there as he goes to take it. Look at that. Sheer hero worship. Kenner. Charlton. Heaney. Southall quite knew what Burroughs was trying to do either. Anyway, it's a corner. And we'll eventually get this corner taken. Long cow up in front of Dowie. Well, the troubles of Everton and the beleaguered Mike Walker have not been alleviated by that result and not really by that performance either. Southampton comfortable winners. Indeed, on the second half, it could have been more after Everton had lost Watson. Letitia performing in the manner of a man who is destined very soon to make his impact on the international stage. And Southampton with four wins and a draw in their last five league games just illustrating how Laurie McMenemy and Alan Ball have turned things round here at the Dell in a way which has so far eluded Mike Walker at Goodison Park.